Alpha here lost his nerve. Come on, I'm psyched to see how fast this thing is. Let's see how you like getting pushed around, Fred. Hey! What's up with this? Brett has been a bad boy. Brett needs a lesson. This court has no choice but to find you guilty of violating the school dress code. But, Chloe, Your Honor, our heels are only a half inch higher than the code allows. Can't you give us a break? Well, considering the circumstances, I guess I can let you off with a suspended sentence. Objection, your dishonor. This is total favoritism. I agree. You're much too lenient to be a student court judge, Clover. I'm replacing you with Mandy. Ah. Thank you, Miss Brooks. I promise I'll restore dignity to this court. <laughs> and I'll restore integrity, too. This court finds all three of you in contempt and sentences you to three weeks of picking up trash. Next case. What? Integrity. Ha! Huh, what a brown noser. Yeah. Who does she think she is? The Supreme Court? Ew. This is like supremely nasty. There must be a way to pick this stuff up faster. There is. Check it out. Huh? <laughs> Can't you get a normal office? <laughs> Sorry, ladies, but we need you urgently. Fourteen hours ago, a computer trapped a student named Brett Brinkley on a Las Vegas roller coaster. <laughs> We've had two similar attacks. In Italy, a tourist was attacked by an airport baggage machine. And a computerized elevator at Silicon Valley High left the principal quite shook up. Yikes. More proof that climbing stairs is healthier. Your first stop is Las Vegas. Today's gadget menu includes the Koi Purse, Life Raft, Parachute. Oh, don't spray on that perfume, Alex. It's liquid nitrogen. It freezes steel, makes it as brittle as glass. Extremely cool. Careful, the hairdryer is an infrared heat ray. The stereo is a sonic disintegrator, and the camera fires a laser beam. <laughs> Guess I won't need film, <laughs> will I? Looks like Brett's had enough fun. Get ready to grab him. Careful. Here he comes. Go time! Come on, pal. Time to give someone else a turn. Remind me to stick to the merry-go-round next time we go to an amusement park. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I don't get it. How could a computer voice know your name? Search me. I'm on the football team, babe. I don't study computers or anything else. Football? Yeah, I bet you ace all your tests. I don't have to, babe. I just grab the nearest nerd and, uh, persuade him to help me. Well, speaking as a nerd, I'm starting to see why computers attack you. Well, what do you mean, computers? You talk like there's more than one. In case you haven't noticed, this hotel is holding the annual computerized gadget show. <laughs> what are they doing? Why are they coming at me like that? Naughty, naughty, friend. Your punishment isn't over. Okay, say cheese. Oopsie, wrong camera. Get out of the way! Brett has been a bad boy. <laughs> Brett needs a lesson. Time for you to split, honey. There's never an energy crisis when you need one. <laughs> Brett has been a bad boy. <laughs> okay, who's next? 
Jill, Alex, you got them all. It's like those computers knew Brett. We gotta get him somewhere safe. I'll have Whoop agents pick him up. We have to get to Italy before anything else happens to that gym coach. <laughs> Oh, you want some, Mr. Machine? <laughs> Victim number two, Coach Joe Hassler, has been laying low here on the Isle of Capri ever since he got baggage handled. Look, I've never been to Vegas. Mm. I don't know this Brett kid, and I don't want to go anywhere. You'll be safer at Whoop. But cars, planes, ships, they all have computer chips now. If computers are out to get me, how do I travel? Hmm. Hey, this is what I call low tech. This funicular railway is powered by a cable. No computer on board. Whoa! Uh, Sam, does that go for the cable motors down on the station? I'm guessing the answer's no. Whoa! You've been a bad boy, coach. Time for your punishment. question to ask a gym coach, but do you have any enemies? Only every kid I ever taught. Any who were good with computers? Well, I had this one geek running laps all last year. I forgot his name. He transferred to Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley High? Isn't that where victim number three is principal? That's it! The coach picks on kids at one school, Brett at another. What if they both bully the same kid who's now at Silicon Valley? Mm. Time to pay a visit to Silicon Valley High. We can drop the coach off at Whoop on the way. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> Every time I think Jerry can't come up with a more annoying way for us to travel, he outdoes himself. Wow. Silicon Valley High makes our school look so... so 20th century. How can we blend in so we don't look so suspicious? By not blending in. Let's take a backstage tour of their auditorium. Wow! Look at all that! Yeah! <laughs> Uh, sorry. Principal Vegan is out sick today. Oh, dear. Can you help us, love? We're new exchange students. I'm Samantha from England. I am Alexandra from Russia. Is enrolling in school we want? I am Clover Patra from Egypt. Hi. I I'm Adam Lewis. Those clothes look familiar. You've never uh, done a school play here, have you? Yet. We are just arriving. <laughs> Oh, a thousand pardons, Effendi. We wish to meet other students who are new here. Could we see your, how you say, database of new arrivals? Sure, let me input my password. Just don't tell the principal, okay? Chad. Chad stands for Computer Home Analyzer and Defender. My invention. He, it, can access any computer anywhere. Uh -huh. I spend a lot of time on Chad because Dad's always moving us. I guess we both know how hard it is to make friends.